Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joanna. I've been backpacking through Europe for the last few months. I've been discovering the most incredible cities, trying amazing food, meeting great people. And now I'm in Barcelona for a few months before I go into my next travel adventure. So join me when I discover a little bit more of Spain. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Good morning. So it's 6.30 in the morning and we're actually in a different city. So we are in Valencia and we just took a night bus. So if I look a little tired i would say it's because i slept zero hours so that was great basically i had to come to valencia to take care of uh, my passport ended up making a huge mistake and i booked the wrong thing so couldn't that, can get that done so basically i come here uh, to get that done and couldn't get that done i booked on purpose the night bus so then i could have the whole day to explore the city and now i have a full day in valencia because my bus leaves at eight in the night so we have a full day to explore the city and Valencia is supposed to be like a very pretty city and with a lot of beaches, very coastal so great for vacation so I'm super excited to be exploring it even like this part seems like very cute I just left the bus station so now I was thinking since it's 6.30 in the morning it's super early, there's no one around thinking that I'm gonna walk to the beach because it's like one hour walk and then this way I can already like start to discover the city I do gotta say like the area where I'm passing right now I think it's the beginning of Camel, El Camel which is like a neighborhood here it's very nice, very green, very nice football team and this is right there the football is for the brave ones yeah i think this is the stadium of Valencia. so i'm so excited that the beach is just at the end of this avenue because i am getting tired i don't know what's wrong with me to be like oh yeah sure like one hour and 20 minutes i can walk that after not sleeping at all but one thing is like it's so hot already and it's not even 8 in the morning so yeah i think probably like go for a swim because like i think you can see like how much sun is already it's crazy it's super pretty So don't ask me how, but this turned into like a beach day. I don't know, I just bought like my towel and my bathing suit thinking like maybe in the end of the day I can, if I have the time, squeeze in and just go to the beach, maybe like half an hour or something. And here I am, uh, 8 in the morning. But I gotta say like, I'm so satisfied to be here. I, I, I think it will be very hard for me to leave the beach and go sightseeing Definitely my type of beach, it's like super big in terms of like sand It's like one of those beaches where you can like walk and walk and walk into the sea And the water is still like by your knees I got like a spot just close to the sea So I can just leave my things and just go swim and still see everything oh Gosh, it's so pretty today Okay, already worth it the trip in the night bus Yeah, for sure Oh, my beautiful grapes and there's like barely any people here so that's amazing
so basically I'm gonna leave the beach now and I do kind of have to force myself to leave just because I was just having such a great time but at the same time I really do want to see all the sights but I gotta say like this beach is amazing I think I fall asleep like four times I went to the water like six times the beach is here super approved so nice I just love when it's like one mile of like sand just gives me like such a peace I don't know Ah, it's really been hard like walking away from the beach today yeah struggling so just had my little lunch time it was super nice, oh my god, I'm so full. Uh, I just had like a full menu, trying Valencian food here. So if you want to see that video, it will be up in a few weeks. Uh, it will be like something like trying Spanish food, something like that. Okay, so, oh my gosh, I'm just entering. Let me just like show. The perimeter is huge and it goes like all the way backwards, all the way there. So basically I'm just walking in the, I think it's called the City of Arts and Science. So basically this is like a huge complex here in Valencia. Basically it has all of things like modernism and science related. So you can see here the aquarium, which is, I think it's actually the biggest aquarium in Europe. Obviously not gonna go in just because I don't support like aquariums and things like that. But yeah, I just decided to just come see just from the outside of the structure, which is incredible. I think you also have the planetarium, the museum of science. And I mean, if you like science and th that, those types of things, I think it's a great place to come. So now that I'm seeing, basically this is the whole map. So this is the building we were seeing. A very cool thing is like the surface that that part is made of because it's like affects the light. So it seems like waves. So that's super cool. Now I'm going to be walking, it's like 30 minutes walking, so I think now, we're, now that we did like our little detour just to see like the complex and now we're just going to keep walking and I think we're going to go to like a very cute garden and then we'll be like in the central part of Valencia in the old town, so yeah, walking there. Oh my gosh, this is super cool, I thought that was like inside and closed, but now you can walk by. The size of this thing though. Oh my gosh. Now this kind of feels like torture. I'm out here like dying of heat and they just put this in front of you. They literally have the water into like the doors. It's crazy. So this was the ball we were seeing. I think there's like birds in there or something. Yeah. This is the Casha Forum, I was gonna name. And we have like this big bridge. And now we're just walking through a little garden. I think I have to go this way to go to the center of the city. I mean, even if it's the wrong way, it's pretty, so let's go. It's very futuristic, like the design of every building. Yeah, very science-like. But I gotta say, like, this park is just so nice. It's like little lakes, little rivers. There's like an, an anchor. What do you call it? in English well that's that thing there and yeah the park is quite big I think it goes like for a long time in like distance so we have to do all the park now that I'm thinking in hindsight I think you probably have been better to do the sights in the morning and then spend the afternoon in the beach now that I'm thinking, that would probably be the wisest decision. Oh my gosh, that's so cute! Another cute lake. Yeah, it's very quiet, like you can like barely hear any cars or people. It's just very nice. I mean, it's cool because on one hand you have like all of that and then on the other hand you have just like the park. So it's a good mixture, it's very cool. This one's super cool, this is a rose. 
Ah, this one's very cool. It's just so hot and I keep looking for like a shadow but like there's no shadow it's just hot 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 and then everywhere is like a little waterfall a little river a little like and just basically all the things that I really want to swim right now but I can't but I think we're gonna be strong and we're like halfway there almost this park is honestly amazing not only does it have like that fountains, lakes, rivers, bridges, there's a skate park, there's a playground, it also has mini golf, like what park has mini golf? I think this is one of the best parks in Europe I've been, seriously. Yeah, I think this is a, like mini golf. What? I've never played mini golf actually. Like, this is so cool. Like the main reason I haven't picked up the bus instead of walking is just obviously because I want to see the park I mean even though I didn't think it was be this big uh, but number two is because it's almost the same time as bus than walking so I was seeing from where I was it's like 30 more minutes and from bus it's 28 minutes so I mean from the time difference at least we walk with our steps and we enjoy the view I would say the best is just rent a bike because everywhere you have the paths away to the bike, even in the middle of the park or one of those electric things. That way you can still enjoy everything and see everything, but it saves you a lot of time and a lot of exhaustion. Oh my gosh, can I just comment? I'm finally about to leave the garden. <laughs> I'm so excited. Honestly, I think it's one of the most beautiful gardens I've seen. And I'm only like halfway through the garden. So if you want, you can still like do the other half. I mean, it's ginormous. You can just walk for an entire hour and a half from one point to another point of the garden. Can we comment the size of the garden? There we have like points of like running. So this is the 5K. 5K point. I mean, can we just comment? passing through this little monument and I was saying this is called the Porto do Amare and I think it was made in honor of the victims of the Spanish Civil War this is like super random but can we just like comment the size of this tree just like so I think this is named the Santa Catarina church and it's just it appears like a very small church but with a huge tower bell So we're finally arriving in the Cathedral of Valencia. In the, I think this is the Reina Square. It seems quite big from the outside. So this is for sure like the busiest parts that I've seen the city all day because the other parts were kind of empty so now I'm assuming everyone's here and the cathedral was I mean it wasn't bad they were in a mass so I couldn't see much but you can try to climb to the tower um, but yeah I mean for a cathedral I would expect more I've seen a lot more beautiful and wow cathedrals I mean it was very simply and gothic like very simplest so I mean yeah, check it out. This is the back door of the cathedral. And I think this one is super cool. 
I think it's even nicer than the main door with like those little arts. And here we basically have, I think it's called the Virgin Square. We have like a little fountain with sculptures there. We have like a little door connecting the two churches. It's super cool. So this is basically the Desemparados church. So basically Desemparados means uh, the people who didn't have where to go. Wow, okay, so this church is way more smaller. It's just basically like big room, but the ceiling is just amazing. So I'm assuming like if you like churches in Valencia, you can just pick. <laughs> I'm really liking like the whole like vibe of Valencia, I don't know, like the streets are like super calm as you can see except for like those little like squares which are super pretty but yeah, yeah for sure have like more people but like I don't know everything's just very chill so it's six so I have one hour and a half until I have to be on the bus station uh, and we're right on time because I only have two more things that I really want to see oh my gosh I did got like a little sunburn right I feel like I'm too red I'm seeing it now so I think it's like my devil from like the 14th century and it was used to defend the city. But yeah, one thing I'm finding very unique is that usually like they're closed and you can just see the top, but these ones are like open. So you can kind of see like people climbing up in like little rooms, which is very unique. I don't think I've seen this like this before. So I'm officially doing the last effort of the day and I'm walking 50 minutes until the bus station and you're probably like, oh, it's just 50 minutes. Yes, it is, but when you walked where I walked, I mean, every step right now, it's hard. So 50 minutes seem a long way, <laughs> but we're doing this like, like last effort. But I do gotta say, like, I enjoyed the city so much. I really had like the best time here in Valencia. The city itself is amazing. The beaches though, I mean, I mean, the whole day was good, but like, the beaches i mean you can see from my sunburn i mean use sunscreen yeah hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and see you on the next video bye <laughs>